These are the three options for getting Windows 10's Extended Security Updates, or ESUs for short. These options are for home computers. To get ESUs, you'll need to back up your computer settings, which is easy to do, or use 1000 Microsoft Rewards Points, which I'll also explain how to get those, or pay 30 US dollars. In case you didn't know, Microsoft will stop giving Windows security updates on the 14th of October 2025, but they do offer extended security updates, which will run from October 2025 to October 2026. And to get those ESUs, you can choose one of these three options. So let's start with the first one, back up your PC settings. On your Windows 10 computer, click on Start, Settings, Accounts, then Windows Backup. Just before I click on this, I'll just let you know that this used to be called Sync Your Settings. So if you see Sync Your Settings just here, then click on that instead. OK, so I'll click on Windows Backup. So if you decide to get Windows 10's extended security updates and you choose the option Backup Your PC Settings during the ESU enrollment, then, well, these are the settings that they're referring to. For example, all of your personalization settings, such as your computer desktop background image, Windows colors, taskbar settings, themes, and all of those other types of settings will be sent to the Microsoft Cloud and stored for you if you turn this option on. The whole reason all of these options exist is so that you can easily apply these settings onto another computer if you want to. So we have accessibility settings, so things like text size, mouse pointer size, screen magnifier, and narrator that can read your screen aloud, accounts, Wi-Fi, networks and passwords, so your Wi-Fi credentials are available on other devices, personalization, which we've already touched on, language preferences and dictionary, the default language for your computer, and other Windows settings, which are things like printer configurations and notification preferences. And there's also Remember My Apps option. And above that is Backup Files just here. So let's suppose you click on Start, Settings, Update and Security. Then you click on the ESUs Enroll Now. This will start the Windows 10 Extended Security Updates Guided Wizard. If your PC Sync settings that I just showed you are turned off, then you will see this box appear during the ESU wizard. Choosing the first option will turn on the sync settings and your ESUs will be completely free. But if you've turned on your PC sync settings, as I just showed you previously, then this box might not appear during the ESU wizard and you may just be asked if you would like to simply enroll now to the extended security updates. Either way, that's pretty much all you have to do. So let's look at the second option, which is to redeem 1000 Microsoft Rewards Points. You might already have many points without even knowing it. To check how many points you have, just open up any web browser and type into the address bar rewards.bing.com forward slash welcome. Then sign in with your Microsoft email address and password. Once you're signed in, scroll down and click on Visit Dashboard. And here it will show you how many points you've earned so far. You can also earn 500 points by scanning the QR code and downloading the Bing app onto your mobile device. And there are more options for earning points below. 
So where else can you easily earn points? Well, if you open up the Microsoft Edge web browser and make sure you're on the Bing website at this address, then click on the personal icon and sign in with your Microsoft account. Once signed in, your rewards points will be shown here. And if you click on the Microsoft Rewards icon, you will see many ways to earn points. For example, if I click on Daily Poll, then read the question, choose one of these answers, and that's another 10 points earned. Now, every time you do a search, you will earn at least three Microsoft Rewards points, up to 30 points per day. So those are some of the easy ways to build up your Microsoft Rewards points. When going through the Windows 10 ESU wizard by clicking on Start, Settings, Update and Security, then clicking on the ESUs Enroll Now, click on Next and you will see these options. If you choose Redeem Microsoft Rewards Points, this will use up 1000 of your points that you've earned but you won't have to sync your PC settings and you won't have to pay $30 either. By the way, these options may not appear in the ESU enrollment wizard if you have your PC sync settings turned on, like I've just shown you earlier in this video. So if you want to choose this option during the ESU enrollment, then make sure your PC sync settings are turned off by clicking on start settings, accounts, windows backup or sync my settings and turn these options off before starting the ESU enrollment wizard. The final option is to pay 30 US dollars. You might have to pay tax on top of this as well depending on your country or region. By the way, even if you pay for your extended security updates, you will still need to have a Microsoft account. All three options are the same in that regard. If you don't have one, you can go to this website address and sign up for a Microsoft account there. It's completely free to create one. I'll leave a link in the description below. These are the prerequisites for Windows 10's extended security updates. On your Windows 10 computer, click on Start, Settings, Update and Security, Windows Update, and make sure you have the latest Windows 10 updates. This will get you the 22H2 package that's required, and various other updates that are needed for you to be offered the ESU enrollment option. This is also the place where you can enrol in the ESU program once you have the necessary Windows updates and the above prerequisites. One thing worth pointing out is that you can use your existing ESU license on up to 10 devices once you enrol in the ESU program. So for example, if you enrol one computer, you can then use the same ESU license to enrol another nine computers. So you won't have to pay $30 again, or you won't have to spend another 1000 Microsoft Rewards points. By the way, you can get ESUs at any time up to the 13th of October 2026. So those are the three options for getting extended security updates for your Windows 10 computer. One free option, a second option that is basically free, but it might take a little time to build up those Microsoft rewards points, or a one-off payment of 30 US dollars. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.